welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to... Okay, I, I can't really just say it. I have to explain what we're doing today. Again, if you guys have ever been to a tycoon, you'd notice that at first, if you're the first one at a tycoon, or whenever somebody leaves at a tycoon, you'll see the entire tycoon finished. But then they all disappears. Now, why is this? Well, that's because that's how tycoons are scripted. It just clones the original tycoon, and then the scripts remove everything, and then when you buy it, it replaces it. It's much easier than having to script everything that needs to be built, giving the exact C-frame, the exact size, the exact color, and everything. It's much easier to visualize it. For at least most people, I understand there might be a few of you weird, very abnormal to say the least, people that um, disagree with me, but um, you're wrong. So, but we—I'm not one of those people anyway. All right, now our first step is just going to be copying any brick in here. I'm just going to copy uh, the floor. I mean, it's right there, and we're actually going. What the heck am I doing? No, I want no. No, okay, cut. Copy, paste. There we go. Now, I want this floor to be over here so that we can just have an extra brick to grab whenever the heck we need it. Paste it, and, you know, we're going to name both of these part because I hate when things are named floor, but they're not a floor. It, it just annoys me to no end. All right, now, we're going to take this brick and we're going to resize it if we go down here, we'll resize it to a 3x3 three three because that's that's a good size. We're also going to go up top and we're going to make it red because that's the typical color for these things. But um, they're usually not blocks like this. They're usually cylinders. And they're usually much smaller. So we'll switch to the point five or the point 0.2, also known as one fifth, and go down and make it as small as we can. There we go. This is typical. Um, we're going to name this head again, and we're going to copy a model, paste it into workspace, and just name it purchase hyphen because uh, purchase and then price, just 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 like that. Or maybe we'll change it to product price. Yeah, product. Price. And what this is doing is it's just helping us lay it out a little bit, make our lives a little easier as we're trying to figure this out. Now we're going to move this head. Ah, drag and drop again is not the easiest thing. We're going to move into product, product price. Go down to claim tycoon here, copy the humanoid because we already set it up for this, and paste it. Now if you look down here, product price. It's really simple. And then inside of here, we're going to insert several values. One of them is an int value. Another one of them is a, uh, what's it called? Part value, I believe. Uh, object value, my bad. Object value. And another one is the uh, string value. So we'll go over here to the string value in the explorer, now, or the int value in the explorer, and we'll name it price. The next one is going to be called uh, product, and the last one is going to be called n product name, and that's the string value. Now we're not going to use any of these today, we're future proofing, well I, I take that back, we're going to use the product, okay, we're going to be using the product n only, That we're only using the product today. Um, in fact, we're probably not even going to see it in action, but that's all we're using. Now, go to, it, it just inserts a script into the model at large, and we're going to start the script out as script, uh, actually, no, we're going to start it as local product equals script.parent.product.value clone. Okay? And the second line is in this is script dot parent dot product dot value remove. So this is where the removal is. Now why are we cloning it? 
Well, because we want to clone it and keep it to where nobody can see it. And that way, we'll be able to put it back into the game when somebody buys it. But we also want to remove it because we don't need it there. Okay? So that's what we're doing. We're removing it so nobody can see it, but we're also keeping it in a clone. And we're keeping that variable forever. Alright? So what the we can't see this in action yet, I'll admit. But it's going to be a helpful little tool a tool. We'll move it over here though so that it's more in place. And uh we'll also move the model into purchasing just like that all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding that you felt about this video and i will catch you guys later